as much as you can dear beloved do all to live in harmony do all to live in oneness with every single one you can ever find do everything to see to it that you are living in the way that god wants you to live in romans 12 verse 16 god's word says live in harmony with one another do not be haughty but associate with the lowly never be wise in your own sight this is important that you must know this is important that you should come to terms with the word of god have clearly stated that we should do all to being in one mind towards one another not minding high things not being proud in our way not trying to make others feel inferior beloved around you within your neighborhood do everything to be that one who lives well with every single person that you can find do everything in your power to see that you are living consciously to the joy to the rejoicing and to the happiness of everyone around you make it a duty and a responsibility to be that neighbor that every single one will see and have a smile on your face be that one that every single one will see and want to have a time with don't be that one whose appearance who's coming in will be the reason everyone will disperse because there is something about it that connects to your blessings in life there is something about it that connects to if you would have the full benefit of god or not and that was why we understood from god's word that we should do every single thing to live in oneness with every single person that we find to live in oneness with every single one that comes our way because when we do even more we should understand that this is causing heaven to rejoice so do not look out for your own interest only but do everything consciously to look out for the interests of others the bible says in philippians 2 verse 4 everyone should look out not only for his own interest but also for the interest of others because by the time we do this what we are going to achieve is to see that we are fulfilling the joy of god what we would only see is that everything that brings about oneness that brings about like-mindedness will be achieved so verse 2 of philippians 2 says then make my joy complete by being like-minded having the same love being one in spirit and of one mind dear child of god this is how we should live seeing that the joy of the lord is accomplished seeing that the joy of the lord is complete seeing that god is pleased in our oneness he says be like-minded being in full accord having the same love dear child of god every single day of your life do everything to lead such a life to see that everyone around you is at rest to see that everyone around you is joyful to see that everyone around you is one spirited don't be that one who is always causing the issues around don't be that one that has brought the separation of people. Don't be that one who has broken the true friendship that had been formed when you came into that fold. Because that is no way a childlike 
attitude that is no way the attitude of a person who is in oneness with god do everything to see to eat that those around you are not separated because of you be that one that foster relationship that fosters love be that one that fosters the growth of every union as long as it is everything beautiful to go by as long as it has no evil intentions do everything to see to it that those relationships stay strong and firm so the word of god says being of one mind towards one another not minding heightens don't look at your neighbor don't look at the people around you and because they have some things that you do not have and don't be such people who because they have some things that you do not have you start being angry you start finding ways to do evil against them those kind of attitude is not that of god in the same vein also don't be such a person who will look down on the people around you because they do not have what you have that is not the attitude of god's child with everything in your power have the full sympathy with one another do everything to see that in humility you are expressing your love not out of pride because it says but condescend to men of low estate you should do everything to bring yourself down i mean don't be that one that you are using your position to oppress the people around you don't be that one because god has highly placed you you make every of your neighbor feel discomfort don't be that one that your appearance takes the peace of people away he says but let humble ways content you this is the word of god he says let humble ways content you you know god has elevated you you know god has lifted you high oh beloved do everything to humble yourself do everything to being very accommodative the very best that you can do everything to see to it that god's people are comfortable around you it says in god's word love your neighbor as you love yourself so everything you want for yourself desire it for your neighbor as well sincerely ask god in your heart that these things he has given to you or these things he will give to you you also desire that he gives it to your neighbor you also desire that he gives it to everyone that you live with because when you do this more what you are consciously or unconsciously doing is you are fostering everything that would help you to live in harmony with one another so no one will feel bad so no one will feel downcasted when others are making progress so everyone will keep rising on almost the same pedestal so beloved look for everything possible within you that you have inside of you to associate yourself well with the people around you live well with your neighbors live well with those people that God have brought your way make sure their heart is gladdened every time they see you for this will please heaven this will please God and your blessings will be sure in the name of Jesus it is well with you beloved god bless you and shalom